when people stay connected to Jesus Christ, spiritual growth occurs naturally. Spiritual babies become spiritual kids. Spiritual kids become spiritual youngsters. Spiritual youngsters become spiritual adults or parents. And even at this stage of maturity, growth keeps on happening. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18 says, But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Spiritual growth has two components, grace and knowledge. Or in the language of the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 14, we beheld Christ's glory full of grace and truth. Therefore, to grow in Jesus Christ means to grow in both grace and truth. If spiritual children grow in truth but not in grace, or if they grow in grace but not in truth, they will become dangerous people. Why? Because they will grow into distorted characters that misrepresent Jesus Christ. As spiritual leaders or parents, we are called to help our spiritual children grow in both grace and truth. The only way to effectively assist them in this twofold growth process is to be both graceful and truthful to them. Graceful and truthful. Spiritual growth can be a painful process. When they go through those growth pains, spiritual children may need a shoulder to lean on and even to cry on. If no one's there for them, their growth may stagnate. They may even experience regression, especially when they inevitably face conflict. Yes, conflict happens and not knowing how to handle it, they can be harmed. So don't just assume your spiritual children are doing okay. Check up on their progress and probe deeper with questions about their well-being. Let them know they are not the only ones to experience growth pains. Help them enjoy the new things they are learning. Reinforce their greater purpose in Jesus Christ. Teach them how to depend more on God and less on people. God bless.